Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh! Follow it, follow it. Hey, hey, here we go. Goal by number 11, Parker Burke. The score is now Wilmington 1. I'm um, going into the second half, and then uh, we got we won the corner, and then we were just kind of say, hey, we need to win this, and then he put in a good ball, and I was there. And... Hey, oh yeah. Goal by number 16, Randy Harris. Jace, Jace, he was moving with the ball, moving the ball. I was holding my run, holding my run. And then he played the absolute perfect ball of a peach. It just, it just fell in my path. And I just do what I do, keep my comfort. Number 11, Parker Burke. Assist by number 16, Randy Harris. Your score is now Wilmington. That yes, one sir. was very silky. Parker <laughs> literally made the perfect <laughs> run, and I just put the perfect weight on it, and he does what he do. Yep, it was a good ball. It was a very good ball. And then, yeah, the keeper didn't come out, and I was able to get there in time to finish. Parker Randy combos worked out pretty well today. Yeah, it was um, you know exciting thinking about it on paper, um, bringing in um, two new guys up top that we thought would be key contributors. Um, and today, I think that second half, the the connection really came to fruition. Uh, we've seen some good flashes in the first two games, uh, but that second half, I think, is more of. Uh, what we expect on a daily basis from those two. Uh, but then guys like Jordan and, and Logan and Jackson off the bench, um, they also have quality. So it's going to be, uh, I think, hard to keep us off the scoreboard for 90 minutes in a lot of games. Um, and if we clean some things up, I'm excited where this group could go. What, what happened? Well, actually, it's a funny story. This morning we had a conversation about us combining. And then in the first half, we kind of figured out it wasn't working. And then he spoke to me about it halftime. And then, I don't know, it just it just literally just clicked. Yeah, the first half was a little rough with our chemistry, but then the second half it was better for sure. We've had three different tests in the three opponents we faced. Uh, Mount St. Joe, first game of the season. We had some early season jitters, a few things defensively we had to iron out. But then we took care of business, went to Rose Holman, team that made nationals last year, uh, mm -hmm. ended up even though we had a 1-0 result, um, just still showing resilience to get a 1-1 draw at a tough place uh, to play and then bringing that momentum in the Anderson where we weren't great first half, um, but made some adjustments. Boys turned it on second half and 3-1 win, 2-0-1, pretty good place to be. And, and more importantly, I think the feeling within the team is that they're excited to come to practice every day, excited to get out, put the jersey on, um, and they understand that they represent something that's a lot bigger than themselves here at Wilmington College for the men's soccer program. So uh, I'm happy, but we're never satisfied until um, end of the season, and we'll see where uh, things stand then.